Let us now learn about some of the properties of division for integers. We have seen earlier that if any two integers are added, the result is an integer. If one integer is subtracted from any other integer, the result is again an integer. Similarly, if any two integers are multiplied, the result is an integer. Now let us see, if an integer is divided by a non-zero integer, will the quotient be always an integer? We know that minus 8 divided by 4 is equal to minus 2 and minus 16 divided by minus 4 is equal to 4. Here, the quotients minus 2 and 4 in both the cases are integers. But when an integer is divided by another non-zero integer, it is not always possible that the quotient is an integer. For example, minus 5 divided by 3 is not an integer. Hence, we draw property 1, which states that the collection of integers is not closed under division. Property 2. If a, a is not equal to 0, is any integer, then a divided by a is equal to 1, a divided by 1 is equal to a. For example, 5 divided by 5 is equal to 1, and minus 7 divided by 1 is equal to minus 7. Property 3. If a, a not equal to 0, is any integer, then a divided by minus a is equal to minus 1. Minus a divided by a is equal to minus 1. a divided by minus 1 is equal to minus a. For example, 5 divided by minus 5 is equal to minus 1 and minus 8 divided by minus 1 is equal to 8. Property 4. If 0 is divided by any non-zero integer, the result is always 0. For example, 0 divided by minus 9 is equal to 0. Hence, if a, a not equal to 0 is any integer, then 0 divided by a always gives the result as 0. The mathematical statements are simplified in order of 